Hey, my air signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the Pure, the Black, and the Magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is D. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully, you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, air signs. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this is for you the week of the 14th through the 20th of August, give or take a couple of days. Cross watchers are always welcome here. Everyone just please keep in mind that these are very general messages for the air sign collective. So they may not entirely resonate for you with you. Just take what does leave what does not for the next person. Um, air sign. So I don't even know where to start. Uh, I just, I finished, I just finished the earth signs readings, uh, right before you guys and it's kind of giving me a little bit of that energy. So you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign um, or have it in your chart. But uh, you have action here and you have stand still. Okay. So it's two different energies. There is, it feels like there's someone in this dynamic that wants more or wants something to happen, wants something to progress, wants something from someone, etc. Um, and there's another energy that is not so much with the stand still card here. So you may not be on the same um, page as someone else this week, air signs, or someone just doesn't get it. Um, but we'll put these back and see what comes out for you guys. Uh, so air signs, the songs I got, crazy enough, the first song is called Best Friends by The Weeknd. Um, the second song is called, is Cuff It by Beyonce. And just right there, it's like two total, uh, two completely like just different intentions, energies. Um, best friends talks about how, you know, the weekend talks about how he no longer, um, wants to have like sex, wants to be intimate with a friend. Okay. So he's friend zone in this person. Somebody could definitely be put, be being put in a friend zone, whether it's you or you doing this to someone else. Um, and that's just pretty much it. It just feels like some sort of connection was causing too much, uh, drama, too much trauma was too messy. Um, and so some of you guys could resonate with that. The other song cuff, cuff it is just the energy. It feels like someone is trying to get the other person to, you know, they want their attention. Okay. So somebody might be trying to get you to like really want them or desire them or chase them to cuff it, to make it solid, etc. Like, they feel as if this is a good partner deal, whatever this partner deal, partnership deal, whatever this is. Um, or this could be you trying to get somebody's attention. Whatever side of the coin you're on, someone wants to continue or wants more and the other person does not. Okay. It's like, it's just, the energy is just not the same. You're not on the same page as whoever this is. So, um, yeah, definitely check out the earth signs, uh, reading. Cause it was a lot of that. Okay, and they're reading as well. We're gonna go ahead and hop into it. If you have not already, please like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it actually puts your energy into these messages, air signs, and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. Just like I've told uh, the other elements, please excuse my nails, you guys. I am on a little bit of a break uh, right before my birthday before I head back to the nail shop. So let's see. And I don't even know why, um, like somebody's not getting the point because I don't even know why I just reshuffle. Usually I would just pull for you guys. Um, but somebody could be wanting, um, it's giving go round. Like somebody wants one last go round with you, whether it's like a chance for longevity or just somebody just wants to have you one more time. If this is on like a sexual tip, um, somebody just wants one more something from you guys. So are you in regards to somebody else? Let's see. Um, illumination is here and we have the lights. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's like somebody is trying to get another person to see that they are, um, the best option. This could be in any area of your life. Um, also you could be, uh, receiving some sort of news. That's just very, um, good news for you with the delight card as well. This week we have power or honestly, it feels like, I mean, regardless of the genders, regardless of whatever side of this dynamic you're on, it feels like something here is a tease. I don't know. It just feels like somebody is, is teasing somebody or at least someone feels like that. And I get that a lot for you guys, air signs, um, openness, enlightenment and patience. Like somebody feels as if, um, 
somebody feels as if things will get better with time or somebody feels as if like another person will change their mind they'll come around etc etc like somebody is just not getting the point um heavily got this in the in the earth signs reading so let's see psychic oracle look at this temptation is at the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with the capricorn um but this is the devil energy compared to the tarot is very obsessive stuck energy um yeah please go watch the earth signs video but this is it awareness some of you guys could be now maybe some of you guys are putting stop to a situation okay so maybe you're putting a stop to some sort of like um intimate relationship or something that is not just you know fully fulfilling to you maybe you are maybe you have already um past or present tense this person somebody still feels as if there's room to grow there's new for more there's a new beginning here um but a lot of you guys are realizing that there's something or someone that is not uh, for your best benefit even if it's yourself the way you're thinking or handling the situation some sort of entanglement you might be caught up in air signs so temptation is here emotional withdrawal somebody is trying to yeah somebody's trying to get you back into a certain type of energy um intuition is here it could be a pisces sacrifice or you have or you um you know it's advice that you follow your intuition in regards to something in regards to choice i just saw movement choices and decisions clarity confirmation or somebody is choosing, um, I keep getting a third party energy of somebody choosing their home, choosing their husband, their wife over whoever may have been, um, you know, like a mistress or a side person, or even if there was a separation, even it's like somebody, um, may have been communicating with somebody else just on, you know, very surface level type energy, even if they were intimate and it's like someone, I don't know. Somebody just feels as if it was going to be more. Felt as if they could change it. Yeah, partnerships and alliances. Okay, so whew, patience and planning. Somebody's willing to wait for you. Destiny is giving heavy clingy energy. Um, it's giving the same energy from the Earth signs reading. Um, but also there again there it's like somebody is realizing so this is a dynamic maybe somebody's being friend zone if you or someone else uh were if you were like dating okay or somebody you know was dating or just not very exclusive with you somebody here is is figuring out where they want to be or they know where they want to be and it's like whoever else whether it be um family friends lovers etc that are trying to get in the way of this is being cut off. So um, somebody is definitely all in here. Take the scenario how it fits for you. Um, if you if this sounds like your situation and you're looking for more clarity, feel free to book a private reading with me. All the information is in the description box below. The crown chakra is here. So just like we had um, illumination, enlightenment, okay, clarity here with the crown chakra. Heartache and loss. This is somebody, air signs, it could definitely be you feeling the need to let something go or someone go in, or, in order to have stability. Um, base chakra, accelerated motion, the universe, victory and success. Yeah, like something in order for you to have what you truly want and deserve, some sort of emotional fulfillment. It's like you have to let go of or stop putting up with something or someone that is blocking that or not giving you that. And I feel like you're coming to that realization Um I wanted to say this week, but I almost said today. So today, Monday um, is when I'm uploading this or maybe just the day that you are actually viewing this reading could be very significant for you. So yeah, it's like being in alignment with, I don't know, um, or somebody here, it's just like, it's a friend situation where somebody has fallen in love with a friend or their best friend. Um, but it's like, it's like the feelings aren't mutual, okay? So somebody is somebody's getting cut off or something like that this week. Air signs. Let's see. Um, the Eight of Swords. So this is your energy. This is a separation or some sort of mental conflict. Uh, there could be, like, just in terms of friendship, there could be some sort of fight or disagreement. It could have to do with what we're talking about, somebody wanting more or something different. Well, I think it's that because this is the Ace of Wands. So best friend talks about not having sex as, fr as friends anymore. And this is exactly it. No more of the Ace of Wands, okay? The Sun card, again, illumination, clarity, temperance. Um, the Moon card, it's just like 
even if it's not necessarily like a best friend situation, it's something about cutting ties with someone, okay? Even if intimacy is not involved um, because it just doesn't mix well or it just doesn't match well with something else in your life, with your, your pathway or your journey. So um, if someone's wanting to, somebody doesn't see it that way. Somebody feels like something is repairable um, or it's fine the way that things are. So definitely get in that somebody's being friend zone. And if this is a friend, um, somebody's being demoted to whatever's underneath a friend zone. So let's see. Clarity confirmation from my air signs this week. Holy Spirit, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What's ahead of them for the week? Who are what's coming towards them? What is it that they need to know? I keep hearing like somebody's not getting a point. Um, and maybe that drives a wedge through some sort of connection here. So let's see. The hangman, Pisces energy. Okay. Oof. The devil card, Capricorn energy. If somebody is like really obsessive, obsessing over something. Okay. Over you, for you, over them. The hang Like it's somebody feels stuck or somebody is really happen having to be honest with themselves okay and reflect on the decision that needs to be made here because it's like i don't know it's kind of like selling your soul to the devil Ooh, and the nine of cups but somebody is definitely it's a lot of love and admiration here but it's toxic with the devil card what's this um what's this hey man I was going to say, give me a lot of water energy. And we got Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio now on the board. The Fool Carl, Aries, um, and the Empress. Okay. Taurus, Libra here. Like somebody. Okay. Somebody cannot stop thinking about you or you about them. Um, and they are really going through it with this tower card, this fool card, this empress card. They are about to make some sort of advancements to uh, advancement towards you. Okay. What's this tower card? Three of pentacles, king of cups. Yeah. King of swords is like somebody is all another person can think about. They want a beginning or a new beginning. Okay. What's the fool card? The judgment, but you already canceled this out. Judgment. Nine of Swords, okay. Um, lover, it feels like somebody's not getting the point. I'm telling you, Earth Signs had stalker vibes, and this is giving me the same. Hopefully, you're not the scenario in this situation. Um, Nine of Swords and the Lover's card, Gemini energy here. What's this Empress? Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants like, like the world with you. Like somebody wants longevity. Somebody's like really obsessed. Or something about like even just being in your energy, even if it's not love. King of Pentacles, okay? Um, could be dealing with the Earth sign for sure. Wow. Okay. What's this Devil card? Six of Swords. Five of Cups. Yeah. Like somebody. Two of Wands. All they do is think about you. Are you them obsessing over somebody here? Um, what's the Two of Wands? The High Priestess. Seven of Cups. I'm telling you. Queen of Cups. It's also giving the energy of someone. Because the Two of Wands is, is, you know, two different options. Two different pathways. Two different people, etc. Um, and it's like, it feels like there's somebody who is obsessive over you or toxic or something. It's like they're wanting to come back. So this could be definitely somebody that you have history with. It feels like this person ventured off maybe with a water sign or something like that. Um, or somebody was playing some sort of games because that's what the devil is too. Manipulation, especially with this fool card. And it's like, maybe, I don't know. Somebody could have told you that they wanted to be friends with you or they're doing that this week and you took it as that or they showed you from their actions that, you know, they couldn't be loyal, committed, etc. You took it as that. And it's like, this person is trying to come back. 
Like somebody got exactly what they asked for, exactly what they who or they pursued. They chose what they wanted, and it's like they figured they're figuring out or they figured out whatever it is they chose over you just wasn't you. So, oh we or this is you. What's this nine of cups? Six of cups. Yep, that's the past ten of wands. Um, and the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. For a lot of guys, you're just not interested. Um, I'm hearing soulmate. It could definitely be a soulmate. Friends could be soulmates too. Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Like this person could be coming on very strong. What's the Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups? Or they can't stand to see you like with somebody else. Like somebody feels stupid. Somebody feels like a goofy. Okay, and uh, the Earth Signs had the song Goofy by Tink. And you got Earth out here. Go check out the Earth Signs reading. Eight of Pen what is this Eight of Pentacles? The Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, um, and the Will of Fortune. It's like now somebody wants to hold on to you or offer you this cup or something like that, Air Signs. But I feel like... I don't know. It just feels like whoever's here, something about the earth sign, if you're dealing with the earth sign, is working on their stability, okay? Or it's just something about someone here, it feels a lot more stable and sane, like mentally sane without whoever or whatever is like chasing them this week. So um, something does kind of feel like a distraction or a temptation or just this person's energy is just, yeah, it's just, it's this devilish energy. So Let's see what this Eight of Swords is. We got the Seven of Pentacles behind it, the Strength card. What's this Eight of Swords? What's the Eight of Swords for my air signs for this week? Oh, that was a lot. We're not taking all of those. What's this Eight of Swords? But it feels like you're breaking free from whatever this devilish energy is. And again, if you've already done so, uh, this is this person. I'm not taking no for an answer. The Eight of Wands, double eights could be significant. The Moon card um, and the Strength card. Y'all are definitely dealing. It's Cancer Pisces on top of this. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants like, this could also be for some of you guys, like a job wanting you back, okay? Um... What's the strength card? Not a wand, two of cups. Somebody's very lustful over you, though. Somebody could be wanting to come to your home or you're wanting to go to this person's home. Higher fin is at the bottom. Seven of swords, um, six of wands, king of wands. Somebody's watching, though. Or Taurus. This per something about somebody being deceptive. It's giving the energy of like someone being tempted, knowing that a situation or a person is not the best for them, um, but having a hard time detaching. So, yeah, air signs. All right, let's pull your final messages from the Divine Doors deck, see what comes out for you. At the bottom, we have Freedom Flows. It says, don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine sacred reason. Freedom, right? The devil card talks about being restricted, being trapped, being chained. These people are chained to this devil. So whether this devil is someone or something external to you or your own thoughts of insecurity and pessimism and stuff like that, like the message is for you to free yourself, okay, from whatever this is that has a hold on you mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Um, let's just go ahead and shuffle to get another energy for you guys to wrap it up. We have Jude's song. The letter J could be significant. It says, a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases, you can find peace within the strangest of places. So it kind of feels like your peace is on the other side of this or away from this or separated from whoever, whatever this is. Um, and it may be a loss or a struggle to accept that for whatever reasons. But um, at least for right now, this week, it's best to do without whatever this is. So... I'm going to leave it here. Um, leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys soon.